<laughs> the, the viewers are gonna have an absolute treat watching this video. Oh yeah. Audio you audio listeners, you're missing out because you got you got to oh. you got to be looking the, at our the epic showdown happening yeah. on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that that was there. We I figured out that gifts work with the thing that uh make you know this whole this whole thing work out. So. So what have... I inevitably say, I like Dynamax and Mercury calls me cringe. No, you're our, cringe. Uh, right the... we're, we're pretty accurate on the, <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, obviously, welcome to the Rat One podcast. I'm gay. Damn, that's crazy, bro. Same. <laughs> Massive handshake. Handshake. I'm clapping. I'm okay. clapping. Instead, instead of instead of like straight the... person, lol. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Well, we're just we're just punching and like you're know, catching my fists. That is that isn't that isn't in anger. That's in that's in friendship, brother. It's a it handshake. Is. It's a handshake. It's a handshake between. We handshake friends. each other very aggressively. Yep. I love you so much. <laughs> Slightly worrying, but probably fine. Oh, you know what? Yeah, when you put it like that, I didn't mean it like in like a in like a domestic <laughs> abuse type of way. Damn. All, what, whenever I think about jokes of people punching people, I think of the fucking Alpharad clip where he was going to make a joke about punching Toadette and wanted to make sure that, like, like it, would, it wouldn't be weird because, like, what if she's, like, literally an infant? So he looked up the Wikipedia page and her Wikipedia page was taken down. Um, or no, her, like, Mario Wiki page was taken down because people were being strange about Toadette. Of all characters, that's it really was funny. the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's I, like, I fuck, ew, why? I fuck with Toadette. Toadette, cool. That's She's awesome. funny. That's my, any character or any game Toadette's in, that's who I'm playing. Yeah, same. Hell like, yeah. Li li literally same. Like I play, I have a Toadette, wow. a turd. Like uh, okay, we are, we are two sides of the same coin. <laughs> <laughs> I have, a, I have a choose uh, blue turd or Toadette, and that's my character. I pick Yoshi. <laughs> I pick um, the girl characters in video games because I am a guy in real life. I was about to say that wants to be a girl. That is not. Nope. <laughs> <That's> not <true. laughs> we're, we're, we're looking. We're going a bit too deep here. You need. You need someone to talk to. Welcome. I would like to look like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Out of pure girls look cool. So it's kind of based. Hey viewers, comment down below. Who do you? Who do you always pick in Mario Kart, Mario Party, Mario Maker, etc. Dude, I'm so excited for the new Mario Kart DLC. I, it, like, it actually looks kind of cool. I, I, I do I, not own Mario Kart. You should. You should. Dude, <laughs> should. Mario, really Mario should. Kart with the Hermes, dude? Yes. Ooh, wait a minute. I'm down for that. Ooh. Dude, Mario Kart with the Hermes? Let's go. We should do a pa we should do a Patreon episode that's just fucking Mario Kart. That'd be yeah, hit us awesome. up on Patreon if you want to see us do other stuff that's not like exclusively Pokemon. Like We've been doing yeah. FFAs, watching Pokemon movies on there, but like... Hit us up. Let us know. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, welcome to Rat One Podcast. Uh, yes. Elephant in the room. Elephant not in the room. Marker. There's no elephant. In, no, listen, listen. There's no elephant in this room. Okay. We still got a Mexican whose name starts with M from Chicago that plays VGC. Same shit. Okay. Your yeah. name's just... Matrix. No, Marcos. <laughs> is my um my maiden name. Oh, right. that's not what that means. Your maiden that's name. Not what that means. That's not what that means. <laughs> that's crazy. That's not what that means. <laughs> That's all when that did you means. get married? <laughs> when did you get married? What the fuck? Did I miss so see, something? You know what? Actually, I could just say whatever the fuck I want because he's not here. Actually, yeah, me and Marcos are married. So anytime he's talking about <gasps> Leah, he's talking Yo, about me. It's just code Congratulations. Name. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm. you're going to have to look out for Silene, brother. Yeah. Look, I like... I ain't got no competition there, okay? She ain't got no eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mean to her like that. Uh, I'm I'm hot as fuck. I could beat some polygons, bro. I'm good. <laughs> Base. Base. I love the confidence. <laughs> Hell yeah. Crazy. But yeah, um, so, Mark Marker is uh, kind of got fucked. Yeah. It, literally, this is like the most like unlucky string of events I've ever heard when it comes to like getting put on a job. Yeah, this is insane. Who wants or, like, to who wants to read ship? off the the chat of right. this? Because I you All do right, it, you do it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, so basically, like 
15 minutes before we're supposed to start recording, he adds everyone in the Discord, at everyone, I have been called into work and I can't say no because my job is across the street. My fucking boss waved to me. Fuck. <laughs> Which is like, one, how are you staring distance away from your job? That's nuts. Because that's that's, that just does not happen very often at like, all, ever. He says that he was standing at his window... And his man, his uh, his boss was like, "Hey, come in!" Like fr from his, like from outside the job in the window, and he's like, "Hey, come over." That's that's terrifying, honestly. I think it's I like would some, have a panic attack. That's some like that only happens in like animes or some shit or movies or <laughs> cartoons, you know? Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude. Like, oh, rip. That's what if it's just some elaborate excuse because he hates us? No, he wouldn't do that. He would never do that. <laughs> No. No. But what? But what if? What if it wasn't Marcos? What if this is his boss who stole his computer? True. True. Whoa. Wait. Whoa. Oh, wait. Wait. We need. We need to help Marcos, guys. <laughs> it was a call for help. Marcos blinked twice. If you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. He can't. Uh, what, what's What's crazy about the the gifts that you guys have set for your profile pictures right now, which are fucking perfect. I know. Right? Um, I'm pretty sure they also um. Like don't blink. So no, in don't. theory, if, if if they're just running next to each other the whole time, they are just constantly unwavering determination, beating the shit out of each other. It's beautiful, hey, honestly. Hey, Dude. staring contest right now. Let's go. All right, let's <gasps> go. What? Um. Okay, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I bet y'all lost. I'm still staring. You ain't even know. Oh my <laughs> God. Hey, I didn't you stop could staring. Cheat. <laughs> you could just cheat. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm still staring. Smile. Little did, you, little did you know, I had my eyes closed the entire time, and now you look like the fool. <laughs> staring contest go immediately close his eyes. I mean, that's a different level of hard. Actually <laughs> speaking, you never like if you shut your eyes before the contest starts, and then you keep your eyes shut, you never blink. You... But it's a staring contest. It implies that they're staring. I can, you can, you're still staring through your eyelids. I... You, can, you can see stuff through your eyelids. Given I the suppose. Light behind it. Yeah, I just gotta I have like so. a large light behind them. Silhouette. <laughs> did Did y'all ever get like super competitive about this type of shit in like really early school, like um, like you know, elementary school kind of like lunch table vibes? I I didn't, but I had. There were kids that I knew who did, and it drove me insane because all they would do is make fun of me for it, and even though I like was not even trying. They'd still like, ah, oh, you lost, you lost, you lost, you lost, and like bug me about it. And so I felt obligated to try the next time, but then I lose, and I'm like, okay, fuck you. It, it just was like this weird cycle of like, a, a small child runs up to me, tells me to do a thing, I do not do the thing, they make fun of me for it, and walk away. Maybe I was just bullied. Yeah, that's, Maybe. you know. I think, I, I'm thinking... <laughs> Yeah, kind of what it sounds like. <laughs> it kind of does what Oops. it sounds like. But I, but I to be honest, big handshake, same, same. Yeah. <laughs> oh no way! All three of us in the Pokemon podcast were bullied as a kid. No, we shot. are Pokemon fans. We get bullied now. <laughs> yeah. We can't. It doesn't change. The, the, I will. Um, the super annoying one for me was. Hey, do you want to play the game? What okay. game? Oh, you lost. And it's the oh, well, if you think oh, about the if game, you think about the game. I hated that, dude. It was like if you're gonna come up to me and say what is basically a nothing burger and just run away laughing, why did you yeah. talk to me? <laughs> it, it's because it. I don't know. Children are just. I think. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's some things that you think about that were like normal in in. I think especially middle school. At least for me, middle school is where all the weird crap was. But. You know, I'm not. It's just strange. Children yeah. are strange. If you're a child, you're strange. <laughs> yeah, I think I, children I'll are just like weird. Yeah. I think <laughs> I think children need to go away from. We me. are Pokemon I, fans making fun of children. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? We play, we play the children's video game. This sucks. <laughs> we play the children's video game. Better than the children, but not really because juniors are fucking terrifying. <laughs> Why do we actually play the video game better than the children? Why? What? What keeps us striving to be better and better and keep playing and playing and winning and winning? We have rational. We have crack rational cocaine. Be, like thinking. 
We can see <laughs> deep, deep rooted childhood trauma, perhaps, of saying what? we can't get shit done. Of, of wait, what was that thing you put in topics a while ago? I'm bringing <laughs> that up. Players. I'm bringing that up. Hold on. How childhood traumas like getting locked in a room a lot can lead to long term decision making effects in Pokemon. We didn't talk about this when you posted it originally, but I have to ask, what the fuck? Are you okay? That is the craziest shit I've ever put in the topics channel. This is facts. <laughs> I, honestly, this is, we. There's no doubt that Pokemon's a very psychological game at a competitive level, right? Like we all, yes, we yes. all know about that. Yeah. Like, yeah. And so, uh, to not to dodge the question or anything, because we'll get to me getting locked in rooms. But like, oh. the more I've been thinking about it, I've been watching these like psychology related videos, right? Um, mm -hmm. That like tie in gaming to uh, you know mental health and just like existence in general and like therapy and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of what comes up is like, why do we game? Right, like, what is what is the purpose of, you know, potentially locking yourself in your basement or your room and playing video games all day, or like, or using it as like a coping mechanism after like a long day of school, long day of work? It's ah. like, oh, finally, I get to relax with my video games, right? Yeah. When that doesn't really make sense at all from like a like relaxation standpoint, because it is added stress to your life, right? Like, you, what I you're what you're enjoying here is the extra challenge what you're enjoying here is like okay it's it's not saying like oh life one wasn't enough time for life two i have 99 <laughs> lives i'm a gamer no no, no i'm not saying some crazy <laughs> shit like that <laughs> I'm, what i'm what i'm getting at though is like what 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 about the escape is so fun right and with pokemon specifically i i genuinely do think that this is the reason why i continue to play is like I like exploring that that topic or that mm -hmm. thought. Yeah. Cuz like every single like when I feel like you can get a lot about or a lot out of any kind of game, all right, regardless of what it is that you're playing. Yeah. Um competitive games in general though, I feel like take like a deeper stab at like the psyche <laughs> and like <laughs> just Oh yeah, for sure, anything competitive like, really. Yeah, and you can get like really deep into shit too. Um and like unpack a whole lot of things about yourself. And to, to, to circle back to the original topic of me getting <laughs> locked in rooms as a child, I don't, I, I try, I actively try not to mold it like at all during a competitive setting, especially with Pokemon, right? Cause it, literally that's how you start tilting. That's how you yeah. start to play worse is like getting in the yeah. mindset of like, fuck this game, dude, fucking, oh, my opponent's so, oh, you know, my, yeah. their opponent's team is so cringe. Oh, like all that kind of, you know, casual you gamer. You've, you've seen this. Yes. Yeah. It, you know, when ally switch exists. <laughs> Um, and I, I just kept unpacking that thought and unpacking that thought. And I'm like, okay, how deep can we go into why this makes me just feral?ly mad, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I came to the conclusion that I was like, dude, my whole life has been like that. Whenever, whenever I run into a scenario that, like, not only did I put myself there, right? Because I'm playing this game. I chose mm -hmm. to play this. I chose to click this ladder game right now. Yeah. Regardless of where I'm at on the ladder, regardless of who I fought, regardless of what I'm using, right? Mm. That's my choice to be there in the, in the first place. Mm -hmm. So I need to be comfortable with the fact that something can happen to me, like getting just a, a turn completely stuffed out, right? Yeah. Like just getting, you think you're going to do some shit? That, that's what it is, right? Is I have a preconceived notion of like what it is that I'm going to go into the turn with and what's going to come out of it. And when just the complete opposite happens or just a total shutdown that that results in a loss usually you get frustrated yeah that's that's how i start to get that's how i've um basically since in, since i was an infant related ex or an expectation being completely 180 and mm. then facing a consequence for it so for example right i was in a room when i was like maybe like two fucking one and a half or some shit Whenever baby, you can baby. start, yeah, baby, baby. Whenever you can start to walk. Whenever I was old enough to crawl out of a bed and go to a doorknob, because mm -hmm. I was below that doorknob. <laughs> I know that for a fact. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, this is in the first house I ever lived in, so like, just like super baby, baby mode, right? I wake up. I'm like, okay, time to go outside see my family. This is my oldest memory, by the way, that I've ever had. This is the oh, only wow. thing that I can recall that is that far back. Deep Michael Moore. Deep, deep Milor. This is some deep shit. Is going to that doorknob, 
expecting to open my door and see my family, right? Maybe suck some titties or some shit to get some nourishment. <laughs> just like, Wait, just, you know, like survive my life kind of, kind of fucking thought, right? And just getting like 180 entirely. I, cl- yeah. I jiggle the doorknob, it doesn't unlock. What the fuck am I supposed to do? As yeah, a child, baby. as a yeah. little baby, other than scream and whine and like vie for some kind of like attention to be like hey fucking help yeah because you think you're stuck yeah yeah i thought i was dead (laughs) (laughs) no dude that's that's the crazy thing about being a baby or babies in general everything in their life is the worst thing ever because they have not experienced there's no yeah there's no there's no there's no comparative thing you could do so it makes sense when when you know toddlers or babies they they cry or do tantrums or whatnot because they have no idea they think they're dying exactly yeah Um, there was that that's peekaboo to the extreme i lost my whole life (laughs) (laughs) for three seconds i was like damn (laughs) yeah i can definitely remember sometimes when i was younger and waking up and like um either everyone like my parents were at work or they were just like out of the house or something and then i I was all alone in the house and like panicking and thinking that the whole world like everyone is dead oh god now i'm the last person alive and i think you know that's just child brain not understanding but in a moment of a pokemon game when you're so like you think you're about to make the play of your life and then it doesn't happen and then you get punished and then you just you feel like shit that's that's what gamer rage really is it's a t- it's a temper yeah, tantrum you're is, pissed yeah. off and you have no you can't control your emotions because you are mad at pixels and now you are angry and i i say mad at pixels just because i don't want to minimize it you can definitely get very pissed off. oh god i, f- I think i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> okay my bad <laughs> anyway i think it, it, it's it's you know it's expectation gets taken away you get frustrated that's just a natural progression of existing as a person yeah and everyone will feel that especially at a young age and so when it happens again later on in life it's like you, what you, you're reaction is recalled from all the way back then and then it's mm-hmm. like it's just the same thing right yeah so sometimes it's, you it's, just got a baby rage yeah and it's easy to say like oh just don't be in that situation forehead okay thank you i was th- like two but one <laughs> and and two fucking literally incapable of doing anything i was sleeping prior it's not like i yeah, wanted no, 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 to no. be there you know i like, think it's <laughs> i think it's if people are saying just don't get that situation they say that from about like actual games which yeah, you honestly stop playing the game don't that that, that that yeah just don't get tilted i know it's always done as a joke but it can kind of get annoying um, oh it's it's a hundred percent more tilting <laughs> yeah. yeah it gets Fuck me more, it's like it's like yeah it's when you're mad and someone says calm down and now it yeah. feels like you're getting like battled and you get even more do you know upset what, do you know what that is put the baby example on again right i lock the room or i'm mm-hmm. locked in the room screaming and crying fuck i need to get out of this room otherwise i what i you know i feel like i'm dead Mm-hmm. Imagine a voice saying "fuck you," <laughs> stupid <laughs> ass baby. That's what the. That's what the. Hey, oh that's me. That's what calm down feels like. That's, that's what the calm down feels like. Hey, <laughs> shut the fuck up, baby. <laughs> Mercury when he sees an infant child. <laughs> Dude, but here's the. Okay, wow. <laughs> Nice. Shut the fuck up, that's bro. He hates babies, bro. I hate children. I mean, children of the wild. I mean, Fair, but like this is what Jesus. this is what working in hospitality for four years does to a motherfucker. Ah, yeah, that does do make it. sense. Actually, I never really got the connection there. Control your child, fuck, please. Yeah. I don't want to have to deal with your crying child from Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Because it's the crying child. I had an experience with the crying child today. It was it was interesting, because I was hearing this this kid, uh, yell, um, I don't want mommy, I want daddy, and I'm like, oh, what's there's Oof. something going on there. Um, <laughs> yeah. I someone comes up to me and I'm like, D- you are over there. I saw you. Is is everything all right? And they say, um, the I got I got her to calm. I got the kid to calm down. I couldn't tell if it was a girl or a boy because it's like a little kid. They were like eight, I think. They said, I got them to calm down. Um, they said that they asked someone to be their valentine, and they said no. And they threw a tantrum about it, because someone reminded them about it. And it's like, that's how you feel when something like that happens, but kids just have no filter. So they start releasing all of their energy out outwards mm-hmm. instead of just processing it. Which I think is just something you learn to do 
but I've met a few adults who have not learned how to do that. I have two topics about that, because that's actually super interesting to me, right? Um, the first thing about the, you know, that's their only, that's their only, like, thing. My little mm -hmm. cousin's the exact same way. Uh, I was babysitting him one time, and Joy-Con drift happened. Right? Oh, no! That shit didn't happen to me as a kid, so I didn't really, you know, know what to do in his shoes or, like, empathize with that at all. I was like, damn, that's tough, bro. But, like, for him, what I came to realize is he was fucking screaming, like, scream crying. And I was mm -hmm. like, yo, that's, uh, that's an issue. Because, like, yeah, that's fucked up, but this is, like, your whole world coming down on you type yeah. crying, bro. And that's what made me realize, oh, my God, it is. That's yeah. all he really, like... As a child, right, you don't really have a expansive worldview. You have your school, you have your parents, you have your friends. You don't and... have a gauge of what is bad, what is good. You just, this yeah. is and bad, now, this is the worst, oh my god. New, new Age, throw online video games on there, right? Mm -hmm. That's another thing to expand the worldview. Fortnite but children! That's Yeah, for, literally, he's literally a Fortnite kid, right? <laughs> so now you cut off a fourth of that, and it, all of a sudden it's like, oh dude, it's not just the, it's not just the game that's lagging. With Joy Cotton Drift. It's a fourth of what you perceive as the rest of the world not responding to how you input anything into it. Oh, yeah. Which, oh, yeah. When you put it like that, fuck, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I don't blame you, you know? Like, um, like any, any, any time I see a baby crying, I am thinking, this child is experiencing the worst thing in its whole life because its whole life has been, like, two months. <laughs> yep, yep. But now, let's, like, you, you brought it up. You know some adults that are like that shit, you know? Yeah, I, I I can empathize with that, right? I I feel that. Not not saying I myself do that often. <laughs> often? I don't think at least. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but answering and and you brought up like oh you know when you get older or just like as you progress as a, a person, right? I think there's like a quantifiable thing that can help that. I I genuinely do think that if if it's a fourth of their worldview coming down and that's why this kid's screaming over Joy-Con Drift, how, how do you answer that? Expand the worldview. Yeah. Right? And sure. you just do that naturally as, an, or as you get older. Right? Mm -hmm. You meet more people. Your past experiences become past experiences and you forge mm -hmm. new ones, right? So it, it's, it's another thing where it's like a psychology thing. It's like, just expand yeah. your worldview forehead. Like, what the fuck does that mean? Thank yeah, you, yeah, Nostradamus. You know. <laughs> Nostra dumbass. Thank you, bro. <laughs> like <laughs> it doesn't say, it doesn't mean anything to just say that but like if it comes from a place of like wanting to do something right mm -hmm. hey i don't want to rage at video games anymore what am yeah. i gonna do about that yeah it's an individual expand you need your worldview yeah you need like, to figure out how to do that on your own though those two are intrinsically connected right because of everything we're saying about these little kids well no right? here's the, here's the thing I'd, I'd like to say, you know, I'm still pretty young, but I'd say I have a pretty good world, world view, you know, something. Fuck Great Ball 8. Yes, but this can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. It's, it is completely fine and natural and normal to get pissed off at video games, but it is 1am and I am in a match with a Whimsicott with no attacking move versus my Grimstar with only Sucker Punch, and I'm not having a good evening. I- <laughs> In those cases, you're allowed to be mad. Yeah, yeah, like, like okay, there's nothing wrong with- Yeah, like, no, it's very, no, no. It's, it's a healthy reaction, right? It's a response, like, something- you can't just bottle that in, that needs to come out, Yes, right? but directing it at other people is when you are in the wrong. Yes, so, so, so if your worldview is not big enough, right, to the point where you do need to let something out, and it, like, actually negatively impacts somebody just because it's the only other thing left in your world, you know? Yep. That's a little, that's when it gets a little, you know, so you need, you need more world to drown shit out, basically, yeah. is how I see it, as, as a metaphor. Oh, that makes um, sense. I'd say, yes. I'm sorry, Mercury, we should philosophy talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck? I'm dead ass. This is probably the deepest shit we've ever talked about ever on the podcast, but like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to um, know what would also be fucked up, you know, like the sun disappearing, <laughs> that'd be crazy, bro. <laughs> Oh, wow. we talked about we're it the last going, time. We're going SCP <laughs> yeah. time again. No, no, I so, just, I just wanted to make that joke because I, I also see in recent news. Did we talk about it last time? Did we talk about SCP one seven three? Yeah, 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 we Two did. Two episodes. Okay, ago, we did, we did. I've been seeing a lot of really cool designs for it. By the way, that's fucking awesome. It seemed like so seeing... SCPs. SCPs for whoever doesn't know is like, um, basically like creepy pasta. 
but with like added That's, lore and like yeah specific a specific kind of thing if you if you watch like last episode you'll you'll know yeah um, you'll know. yeah the the one we're talking about um has to get a ooh, either is getting a redesign or isn't i don't know if people are making redesigns for it i've seen a whole bunch of cool ones yeah same here i i, I really like that i, like the I, one I don't that know it's like reggie rock yeah yeah <laughs> reggie rock but made of concrete very yeah. awesome that and that's, that's something that i think is really yeah <laughs> a fucking dog that picture haunts my dreams why does he have <laughs> teeth like that but yeah i i think you know i think that's a perfect example instead of being salty and everybody throwing hate at the artist um who you know said this is my shit do not use it i mean maybe they did i don't really have a clue but the fact that everyone just went okay and then started making their own designs like i think that's really cool I, I like seeing big community efforts like that around something as simple as, uh-oh, we can't use the peanut anymore. <laughs> yeah. And, like, we've said it a thousand times on the podcast, like, if you're bitching and whining about something that's just so unharmful, what are you even doing? Yeah. It gets an extra layer of, like, damn, you ain't got nothing better to do than that. <laughs> like, that's your <laughs> worldview? Is, is somebody made a creepypasta that you didn't like? Look Michael, like some certain way, bro. Michael. We're Pokemon players. We do that. Yeah, I know, and it's cringe. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the experience. Why do we play this game? To get a shiny bird. By the way, wait, shit. This is—is is this gonna come out? Oh no, it, this is gonna come out the Monday after the IC. Damn. Yeah, yeah. sir. Ooh. IC is happening. Uh, we we'll probably be competitive be video gamers. Yeah. Before the podcast started, I was even telling these guys, I was like, yo, I'm, like, tournament starved. I need to play competitive again. Cause, yeah. Like... Dude, I, I can't take, like, I can't take tournaments that aren't, like, best of three, no team sheet. Like, no open team sheet, closed team sheet, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Seriously. Just, like, a, like a tournament setting. Like, I, I, I need, Swiss I, rounds. Like... I need, like, Swiss rounds, BR3, no, no fucking team sheet bullshit i i think that open team sheet is lame as fuck um that's fair i mean it makes a little bit more sense in best of one but like mm -hmm. why are you running best of one yeah I mean, actually i like open team sheet no I'm kidding. <laughs> oh god they're gonna start fighting again i'm kidding i'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, no, no this, is, this is one of those handshake moments we're not punching yeah. we're not punching against each other we're punching together yes as but, one um, but yeah no, I, I, I don't uh, keep best of one and open team sheet away from my tournaments. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, like, I, that's one of like, the cons of ICs. I, I've seen, I've seen a lot of people like sort of like defend it. Like best of three open team sheet is lame. Best of one open team sheet makes sense, but it's best of one, so it's lame. <laughs> and then I think okay. Keep best of one out of it. Just, like, cut it out. Mm -hmm. Cut it out. Gotcha. Gotcha. And then just don't have open team sheets, either. But yeah. if you are gonna have best of one, have open team sheets, I reckon. I think so. Yeah. I think it's just, it's more fun to play what the official format is, you know? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. every regional will be best of three. Every worlds will be best of three. Well, yeah. like... It's that way for a reason, because the best way to play yeah. the game. Yeah. Yeah. I think, the longer um, way, but the best way. Granted, it's it's I I would prefer best of one online experience. I feel like queuing up for a whole best of three with somebody would get a little League would... of Legends y where queue times are like no, 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 fast, but then the games take like forty minutes. I'm not I don't know no, no, how it's big into that I'm into. If it's like a Swiss if I it's like uh two of like Swiss rounds and then like top cut. I think it's fine. No, no, I'm talking about I'm talking about like like sword shield ladder. Oh like no, no 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 no! That's that's a completely different beast. I think um yeah yeah, I'm I'm Ooh. fine I'm fine with that being best of one. It has to be best of one, otherwise it yeah. just doesn't function right. Yeah. Um, and that ladder tour is for a reason. It's just a ladder. If you <laughs> like laddering, you join them. I I personally am not the biggest fan of like laddering. I used to like laddering, but I don't know what it's up. I just can't play the game for too long. But like without like large breaks oh yeah no that 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 you get burnt out that's completely valid yeah i feel you so 
there I've I've adopted like a third way of looking at uh tournaments because of ICs and laddering in general. There's like ladder mode, which is just like grinding for points specifically. Mm-hmm. There's IC style like ladder tournament mode where it's more of like a marathon, just win as many in a row as you can. Yeah. Um and then there's just tournament tournament, you know, like on a Keep your stamina up the, throughout the day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. like st- stamina throughout the day. It almost feels like different types of track and field events. I've never done track and field, mm-hmm. so maybe this is me talking out my ass. But, like, there's the uh, short bursts of running, you know? Yeah. There's the marathon where it's like, you got to conserve your stamina. And then, you know, that has a, a variation to it as well. You know, like <laughs> Yeah, no, that, ma- that makes sense. It's like a different... I-, I feel like in any kind of tournament setting, like, something that I will not that i haven't been missing about in-person tournaments is the exhaustion that comes with it i still get tired after playing in a whole tournament but like after after a after like a pc or an mss bro i am dead the next day i am (laughs) that could just me not being uh, more introverted and not having as big of a social battery but oh my god i'm just like i've completely forgot about like how like the social exhaustion from tournaments as well yeah because that plays a factor in irl tournaments Mm -hmm. like on on you're using your brain it's yeah online stuff it's a little bit less because like Mm -hmm. you're not you know interacting with people at the end of every round like normal uh Mm -hmm. or maybe you are but like it's not the same majority of people yeah it's not the same kind of you gotta be a hundred percent you know when yeah, for sure. You can't be interacting. It, there's like a lot more downtime at like IRL stuff. I feel like. Oh yeah. Because you're talking to people and yeah, you know you have your breaks and stuff. And with with online stuff, it's like yep, round after round after round. Um, yeah. Over generally speaking, whenever it's like a Swiss tournament, they'll have like Swiss one day and then Top Cut the next, which is. Yeah, understandable. I I'm gonna be completely honest, and this is I know a Michael take. I don't like that. I that, like Top uh, Cut all in one I, day. I I, th- I think I think it's tough for bigger tournaments. Like if you're playing yes, nine rounds, I agree of, with that. If you're playing like nine rounds of Swiss, uh, you got motherfucker. You, you have to do it next day. Otherwise, yeah. Yeah. regional dying. for regional, this cannot happen. For anything mm-hmm. lower than a regional, though, I think it should be all in one day. Because, like, okay, and this is coming from a place of maybe a little bit of salt, but uh, a top cut at online tournament one time with a perfect Swiss record and then lost in round one of Swiss, 0-2. <laughs> oh, pain. <laughs> no, that's round exactly what happened cut, to round me. One of top cut, yeah, no, no, that's happened to me before. <laughs> like, I think that happened to me in EV series, actually. Actually, uh, uh, maybe. I think it was, happened to me in the EV series, and we had to play the next day. But the, um, I found that, like, that wasn't much of an issue. It was just that, like, I, okay, so the timing for that was, like, I think I had to stop playing at, like, 1 a.m. And I played in through, like, it pl- played through until, like, 10 a.m. Uh-huh. And I was, like, dying inside. Uh-huh. So yes. I, like, I would have just, like... I would have been dead if we had to play top cut. So I, I, I'm completely fine with that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I guarantee you, this is just like me as a player talking because like my best performances all come in the same burst. Yeah. So let's look at just like the last three things that I played in. Right. Let's look at like Spooky Cup. Let's look at just p- cherry pick some random fucking online tournament, and then fuck it. The my only in person tournament that I did well in. So the only in-person tournament I did well in was my first MSS I ever went to, got top eight. Uh, we do Swiss, we have a lunch break, and then it's top cut. That mm-hmm. lunch break fucked me up so hard. I was all momentum, all drive, just like winning every game in Swiss. We go to break, I eat food, I just hang out with people, come back, lose immediately. I Fuck. think you just built <laughs> to somebody To somebody that I beat in Swiss too. Oh. All right, let's look at the next example. Uh, online, the thing that I just said, right? Undefeated in Swiss, o two or two o immediately in top. <laughs> <end. laughs> um, and then what was the last one? Oh, Spooky Cup. Spooky. You want to talk about Spooky Cup? You two motherfuckers were in call with me during yep, Spooky Cup, yep, watching my games. Yep. I was like on a tear. I redefined the meta game for that. You were destroying, dude. Rank number two on the first day. Could have been rank number one if I didn't win a, or lose a speed tie at uh, the final game. Right? I literally came down to a coin flip because I said, fuck it. I don't even care. I'm so high up on the ladder. It doesn't even matter at this point. Mm-hmm. 
Top two, right? Next day, I lost like seven in a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then just busted her out of the whole thing. And I was like, okay, well. <laughs> I think yeah. you're just built different because f- for me, locals being all in one day, that's ideal because then you don't have to, you don't have to drive back out. You don't have to, you know, co- cut out your whole weekend. You know, there, there's, it's, it's just generally better and it's generally smaller. For online tournaments like, like that or I- ICs or just best of three tournaments like the, the Hattering series coming up. Um, at the time of recording, um, like that's better for I need breaks because how I work for some reason is that I will maybe do terrible the first day and then great the next day and then terrible and then great. Oh, wow. Like it's completely random for me when, mm-hmm. or at least it feels random. I haven't figured out what is the the factor that makes me do bad, like starting and then go downhill or start out, um. Oh, I messed that up. Do good and then go downhill or start terrible and go uphill. Like, I don't know what causes that, but it always happens. One day I always perform differently. It's like, I, I don't know how that works. It's How's almost it work? like this, you have, like, a is... clutch factor. Like, if, you, if you're, like, losing, you have, like, a bit of a clutch factor where you're like, all right, I gotta, I gotta start winning. Ah, okay, but, like, that if, makes but, sense. But if you're winning, but, you're, like, you're winning and it's, like, taking a lot of me- mental energy to win, it's probably because, like, I'm, you're getting mentally tired. I bet that, yeah. or you get complacent when you when you're winning a lot. Yeah. Like, I don't have like I ha- I only have to win one more set to get into uh to get into top cut. So yeah. I'm gonna be complacent. No, you're complete. You're completely right because I remember one of my one of my biggest issues with uh PCs and uh, PCs and MSSs, locals in general. Um, was that as the day went on, I got more and more stressed about my record. Um, especially, mm-hmm. you know, if I start out bad or if I start out good. The the best I did in a Sword and Shield tournament was I went from 0-2 to 5-2. Like, I just won my last five games, and I felt like a god. And I could literally never do that in my life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I guess we're completely opposite, because... I think we are. <laughs> I, I, I need to start treat like on the tournaments where i if i can get it into my head that i treat every game like it's round one with no record i just completely ignore what my record is or i try to ignore it like it's still in the back of my head it's kind of impossible to completely ignore it but if i can get myself to treat this game there's nothing behind it it's just another round it's just another best of three like i could imagine this as a practice game i think it might be the pressure that starts to make me more tired and then i start making worse plays I, that makes sense, Mercury. You're 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 genius. <laughs> I think we're a hundred percent opposite, and I think you're accurate in that. Because like when I start winning, like and I win, like say I just win two in a row, mm-hmm. right, dude? I'm like I feel like I'm at the top of the world. If I if I get any inkling of like a snowball going or like a <laughs> momentum, I'm just you I'm just untouchable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm the opposite. I start great and I go downhill, or I start terrible and I go uphill. What, and what? if I do crash, it's catastrophic. I'll probably Ugh. lose if I don't win the first two or three games. <laughs> yeah, most, most of the time I ch- tend to try and not like I know that sometimes if I'll like if I'll win, I'll I'll get complacent. So I try like I go immediately. Don't get complacent. You still got to win mm-hmm. sets. Yeah. To, to make it in, and that's when I get situations where I go X and O at <laughs> MSSs, which is really nice. Hell um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's a, it's hard. I I I feel like I just perform a lot better in a in like an actual tournament setting. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, for it sure. isn't like because I, I don't know. It's I find it really hard to take ladder to as seriously, and that might just be like a bit of copium on my part because if <laughs> I get fucked over by a random ally switch number fifteen, yeah, no, I'm that's, like, that's I, completely. I, it doesn't yeah. matter. It, it's like some sort of a way I cope with not mm. like trying to prevent myself from getting mad. It's just like, well, I'm not taking this seriously anyway. It was yeah. like, mm-hmm. what, what, what's it called? Sour grapes. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't even want to win anyways. <laughs> it, it's totally a best of one factor, I think, too, because I feel like. Seeing your opponent physically in front of you, automatically, you you got up this morning, you made sure your switch was charged, you drove to the venue, you sat down, you paid your entry fee, you're get like like it feels serious just because you're getting set up. When you go on a ladder tour, you just boot your switch up, open up OBS or whatever, and you just 
play the games, it feels a lot more casual. So I can totally, mm-hmm. like, seeing my opponent in front of me just makes me more nervous. I remember it's... fighting um, one of the, the, the very high-ranked people in SoCal, and they were running a team that completely walled me. And my whole goal was get it to a best of three. I don't remember if I actually did or not, but just, like, seeing someone can totally change, like... I don't know. If I see someone's username online, I'm not as scared as if they're, like, right in front of me. <laughs> Maybe no, that I could just that. be me. While we're on the introspection talk, and I'm, like, a little bit different in the way that I, like, snowball or get fucked immediately. You're just built different. I I remember my first couple rounds opponents, like, faces and names and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. If I do go on one of those streaks, the, like, middle rounds just don't exist in my memory. I don't oh. remember them at all. <laughs> I'll remember the end point and I'll remember the beginning point. Other than that, if I'm on a roll and I'm speeding through my rounds and I'm like, I'm, I have momentum is what I call it. Yeah, yeah. If, I'm, if I've got that, fuck, dude. <laughs> I don't you, remember shit. You just <laughs> got just, crazy good focus. It's all it's just like, game. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. just like tunnel vision into it. That's like, you know, a blessing and a curse, of course, because the second you snap out of it, you know, you start tumbling, it, it, yes. like you said. Yeah, literally, 100,000%, yes. And while we're still introspecting, because this, this even, you know, ties into what we were talking about towards the beginning of the episode. <laughs> um, psychology episode, woo! Psychology episode, let's let's relate that to some other shit in my life. <laughs> Running, just sprinting in general. Literally building physical, like, uh, like physics-type momentum, right? Mm-hmm. I am a fast motherfucker for 10 <laughs> seconds and then i am like <laughs> <laughs> yeah i feel i feel yeah same <laughs> i have like crazy top speed at the beginning and then just crash i can't yeah like, consistency i think is my issue right? you're not and pacing yourself same... i think is what it is yep and it's the exact same shit in pokemon you get a pokemon okay, my... high like a runner's high but for pokemon I, I you do. just keep yeah, going yeah. <laughs> Look at my results. The second that I'm forced to stop, the second that I'm forced to play on day two, not the same day, is the, the day that I have to, like, try to regain all of that momentum all in one burst. It's just not happening. <laughs> huh, yeah. That's interesting. Oh, Which, interesting. honestly, now that I say that out loud, is, like, kind of a toxic trait of mine. Like, I try to, like, <laughs> I, I self-destruct because I try to put two... The, the, the body can't handle how much I try to put in all at one go mm-hmm. and I just explode. You you gotta you gotta learn the stamina to to. Fuck! I do that. I literally do that roots. in art too. Holy shit! Yeah, <laughs> that, I have I have noticed that you do like pump out mad like artwork and then you just like stop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You gotta, Cause, you gotta pace cause, yourself, homie. And it's not and it's not even like a stopping because like, oh, I'm too tired or something like that. It's like, oh, I'll give myself a break that way I can come back refreshed the next time. And then the next time I I try to be at that same level of my last burst, like, full momentum, and it just doesn't work like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, I, hold on. I, Saying <laughs> this out loud is, like, therapeutic, hold on! <laughs> I, I feel the same way, but, like, sort of with my content, because I've been taking, oh. like, a little bit of breaks recently, and I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna start recording and doing more content stuff more because I want to do that. And it's like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I, I feel sluggish. I know. Mm-hmm. No, no, you know, I completely I, I, get that. I one hundred percent get that. Like, just... it, it, it feels almost like getting crushed by expectation. The second that you do try to come back into things with like the same momentum as bef- as previously after you've done it for like a little while, yeah, it, like it's like, damn, dude, I d- I didn't. I'm not on that same speed level. I'm not on that same momentum, like, high. I'm not on the same... Because, well, no shit, you're not. It's yeah. the start of it. <laughs> you know? It's you never going to start off of that. Yeah, you, you literally have to rev up. Yeah. And Fuck, I've even felt that today, Ash. I took your recommendation of drawing with charcoal to, to speed things up, and I've done, like, six shitty drawings that are never going to see the light of day. But <laughs> now I feel like I need to, like, keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's just... I think that's how your brain works once you get going you you want to just keep on going and you know pros and cons to that of course with Mer- mercury i think that it's a it's a very similar thing i mean for me the same thing happens with my school work i don't really create content i do stream but there will be times when i take a break and i kind of don't want to go back because i want to rest longer but i know that if i stop completely i would just you know i'd stop completely um yeah. But for things like schoolwork, the second I start, like, 
taking more breaks or not doing my homework as soon as I get home, etc., etc., then I start, like, it just drops hard. And I think that's because when you get burnt out of something or you just need a break from something, you need to try something different, right? Yeah. It, if you don't do that for long enough and you try to jump back into it too soon, you're just going to get even more frustrated and you're not going to, you're not going to yeah. enjoy it. Also, another reason why my content is just, like, blow at the moment is because I'm struggling to build team smile. Yeah, <laughs> team building's hard right now, dude. I need, I need, like, the next big tech to come through. Yeah. I need, I need Reshiram to work. I need Reshiram to work, and then I'll start team building again. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of Grim Snarl and Thunderous being 17 possible sets and clicking a thousand different moves on one turn that I have to cover for, man. That's why building's hard, is because of those motherfuckers. <laughs> That's why I use Thunderous Smile. I fucking love Thunderous. I hate the fact that in this season, that the whole culmination of Thunderous flip-flopping how you run it every single time it's legal... Um, has has come to this point where now you have to guess. <laughs> it's not like yeah. one's meta, one's anti-meta. They're both good. You see that thunderous percent usage from the results of a tournament? That doesn't fucking tell you anything. <laughs> Show yeah. me the item first. I don't know hey, what this hey, means. Hey, viewer, you want to free half of a Series 12 team? I got you. Zation, Thunderous, Grimmsnarl. Pick any of the fucking moves you want. They're all viable. <laughs> yep, yeah. that's all you need. That's all you need, for real. Under fucking busted, dude. I I've been wanting to save this for a while. I was, I'm I'm sad. Mockers in here because I was I, I was um talking oh, he agrees. about it earlier. He 100 percent agrees. <laughs> but um, dude, it's just so fucking busted. Okay, okay. Situation, right? You see, Thunderous mm -hmm. on lead. Yes. If it's physical, if it's physical, fun Thunderous AV Defiant. What the fuck do you do? How do you beat this motherfucker? Um, mm -hmm. have your own physical Thunderous, uh, respond in kind and join the cult of clicking airstream, even if it's not super effective. <laughs> Woo! Um, ma matches... Oh, you intimidated me. Okay, thank you for letting me do, like, fucking 35 to 40 to your Zation, your steel type, your restricted Pokemon. What the <laughs> fuck is that, bro? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that you okay. wall, too, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, um, hmm. What else do you do? Um, hit it with a very, very strong physical attack. For example, like a, a Behemoth Blade with Vizarshian, that shit two hits, two hit KOs. Um, you know, uh, grab on Max into into a Rockfall or something, or something that has a physical like yeah. rock move. Ice just Horse just to hit it. It demands to be doubled into, so it means whatever fucking scrungos right next to the Thunderous can click the most absurd move you've ever seen, like Astral Barrage, Water Spout, Glacial Lance, Behemoth with Blade. <laughs> uh oh, yes. but wait a uh oh, but wait a minute. It lives, or and or it already got an airstream up because you're slow than it. Yep. Uh oh, yep. the the momentum has started. You cannot stop it. He is going. <laughs> he is going. He is so fast. He's so quick. I, in 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 many ways, I'm like thunderous. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> Yo! I'm built just like him. <laughs> and the last wait. way you beat it is is mm -hmm. you wait out the Dynamax like a good little boy um, <laughs> or girl. We are inclusive. Or even <laughs> anyone in between. I'm... Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> you um, I fuck um. You wait up the Dynamax, and uh oh, they're already at plus three on the uh, airstream, and yep. potentially have already KO'd one of your mons. So not only do they have a plus three Thunderous, but Possibly they also Possibly two have plus three Pokemon. Also, another Pokemon next to it that at least, at minimum, has like one plus one speed. Yep. Minimum, because they yep. could have switched it in. Yeah. And you have likely either lost no Pokemon or one Pokemon, because... uh. You know, Thunderous is strong. Yes. Um, and what are you gonna do now? Switch in your Kyoga? Your Scarf Kyoga? No. <laughs> Die about it. Die about it. Um, so, pretty it much... It has coverage for rock moves, too, once you wait it out, so it's not like you can just use a rock or steel type, you're gonna get super-powered or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or brick breaked. You can't even put screens up against that motherfucker. What the fuck? Yeah, he just breaks. Oh, them. and here's and now here's the kicker for Thunderous, right? Everything we just said for the past like two minutes 
throw all that shit out. It was special. You got your special attack, your eerie impulse. You got the rain set up on you. <laughs> and you're still water spouted. You're dumbass. Like, LOL, nerd. Yeah, <laughs> Lamau, you just, right? La- 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 you just called Funda Wave dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite thing. My favorite favorite thing is clicking brain dance on my thunder is when it's a very obvious grout on switch in it is the most satisfying thing to ooh your son uh oh get max cannonated die <laughs> yeah i oh. love that shit it's uh it's very awesome and <laughs> yeah. and i will say i will say usually it's like some of the top tiers are just cringe to play play with play against right I don't really feel like that way for Thunderous. I feel like, honestly, we should talk it. It's kind of fun to use. Yeah, no, no, it, 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 it's fun to use. It's uh, somewhat fun to play against. It's, it's like, a little bit tough like when you, at times. When you, get, when you get someone that's also using Thunderous, it feels rewarding. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It, uh, honestly, Thunder- one of my new favorite Pokemon. And, um, like Mocker said, uh, I think he, he made a tweet. He's saying that Thunderous has a very good case for it being one of the best uh, non-restricted Pokemon at the moment. Oh, for um, sure. The only one it compares to is, like, Incineroar and, like, Grimmsnarl, I think. I might like, them, too. I'd, I'd shove them in Bold there. prediction. Yeah. We call so much shit on this podcast. We called Sora in Smash Brothers. We <laughs> called fucking Master Chief as a, uh, a me costume. And also another one. I forgot what it was. Uh, what else did we fucking call? We called ICs happening, by the way. True. Literally the week before they were announced that we pre-recorded. The week that the episode aired, boom, three new ICs dropped. That's a little fucking crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Bold, bold prediction about this first IC that's coming out for Series 12. Mm-hmm. In like, uh, what, like a couple weeks or some shit like that? February 17th is when it happens? Yeah. Mm. I'm calling three out of the six Pokemon on the on the number one team. Okay. Zacian, Grimmsnarl, and Thunderous. I'm not telling you the sets, because fuck, those could be like anything. But like, <laughs> all three of those? You're probably right, fuck, honestly. Dude. Like, I know it's a freezing cold take, because they're all just good Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I've seen things like Swordfish kind of dropping off. Like at, at least in the tournament results that that I that I've seen pop up on my Twitter timeline, Swordfish is getting like maybe sixth, eighth top cut. I've been seeing a lot of weird stuff like like Sun teams and 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 such. Maybe just pure Calyrex Sashian like getting Calyrex up there. Calyrex Sashian is busted actually. Yeah, I'm see I'm seeing that, which makes me. Uh, I've, I'm still on the Entei believer train. One day I will build Entei. I think he's neat. Me, I think, when I, um, me when I crunch. I think that, um... <laughs> I think Stone Edge and doubles. <laughs> one of the better teams is probably... Like, I think uh, Atrix is right with the the Zacian, Grim Snarl, Thunderous. Let's, let's one-up that real quick. Add a oh. Calyrex to that. I think Calyrex... I think Calyrex Zacian is probably one of the best uh, restricted at the moment. I would agree. I would agree, honestly. It's like, this is why I want to run Reshiram! I think Reshiram's really good. I think I think you could probably take Mockers as a ton of this team, replace it with Reshiram, like a ton of this with Reshiram, and it would still do decent decent. Video I I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, today I'm, gonna I'm gonna ask oh. you both of you to help me to if we do video. end up running Reshiram for the IC together. Mm-hmm. Please, for the love of God, restrain me from running helping hand on it. I learned about <laughs> helping hand and every time I have Reshiram in the builder as helping hand. Yep. It's just like an automatic urge. <laughs> Why does if it get that? Why does it get that and Rillaboom doesn't? It frustrates me so much. If you're running helping hand on your restricted, you you need to like stop. Reevaluate some shit, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm like, sure I, I understand. fought a helping hand Calyrex at some point. Like I, I remember um Helping Hand Urshifu won an IC once. True! <laughs> Helping Hand Urshifu hand... kicked my ass once. Yeah, we did. Uh, ooh, Helping a te- Hand a damn good move. <laughs> the team that me and Ash are likely using for the IC um, has Helping Hand Venusaur on it. So, mm-hmm. that was your tech, I'm into that. Yeah, you did yeah. that. I'm into that. But I'm the only, into that one. But the only reason it has Helping Hand Venusaur is because um, it's a rain team. It, like, it doesn't have sun on it. Yeah. I feel it like need the Venusaur to be enabled fully. Yeah. It's just I... it's just there to be Venusaur when the team's weak to Venusaur or Vine Lash. It's like just extra good. <laughs> yeah. So like I feel like in the situation of having like no sun on your team, uh, having a Venusaur just to be able to have a helping hand when they're not expecting it, especially considering it's a best of one tournament. 
We're not yeah. expecting the helping hand. Um, mm -hmm. Use helping hand water spout everything to death, and it's, it's very so awesome. I, I'm sure I've said it before, but I love helping hand for the concept of you calced this. No, you didn't die. <laughs> it yeah. just it yeah. messes yeah. up yeah. so much. The reason why I lost in in the first round of top cut in the SoCal picnic is because I got helping hand Urshi food. 100% honest. I had calced my Eternatus to live a Behemoth Blade, now it doesn't. I calced my Kyogre to live this, now it doesn't. Nothing lives anything anymore because it just gets helping handed and it, it like, the things that I'm supposed to live with, like, a sliver or, like, 25% left, they just die now. Things that were a 3-hit KO are now a 2-hit KO. It messes up all of your, your plans and your planning. So... It becomes fantastic at best of one because you could just say, you think you have a good plan? No, too bad. Yeah. Make them mold. It's very, uh, very awesome. Also, <laughs> I, I feel like the Venus Soul Run Out team is very Band-Aid. Like yeah. a Band-Aid pick. Marcos we, has we, a Band-Aid we... pick too, it's fine. Because <laughs> we wanted to, uh, have a helping hand mon. We need something to be able to counter Rilla Boom because it's a rain team. Mm-hmm. <gasps> even though we have even though we have like two other things that already counter that shit, but yeah. Mercury! Mercury! Yeah. What if what if we did Ludicolo instead? We already tried that. Oh, did we? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's not it's oh, we a little, could, uh... oh, we could we could have Ludicolo instead, but like it doesn't get helping hand, does it? It does. Nope. What? No, it doesn't. You got big ass hands, but it doesn't have helping hand. There's no fucking way. Nope. nope. Why? Does goddamn Reshiram with these tiny little hands get it? Fun well, fact. Arms. But fun the fact. funny dancey man does not. What is the fun fact? I'm sorry. Uh, in Japanese, there is no hand. It's just help. That's what the move is called. It's called help. <laughs> help, please. Reshiram is not a helpful motherfucker in any way, shape, or form. He's... And was in black and white. But no, Reshiram busted through walls and, like, killed things, dude. Well, so does Zekrom. Depends, depends on your version. Don't be rude. Yeah. Reshiram's awesome. He's literally Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's hey. a red dragon. Red Eyes Black Dragon. I yeah. forgot about that. I forgot that's a real thing. Wait, is, it, is Red Eyes Black Dragon real? Yeah, yeah Red Eyes Black Dragon is a card in New Gear. That's fucking but like, crazy. But they're backwards. It's white eyes, red. Dra Wait a minute. Fuck. No, Reshiram, red... Reshiram has blue eyes and Zekrom has red eyes. Oh, okay. I thought yeah. it was because it's uh, blue uh, eyes and red eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, they're literally just Yu-Gi-Oh cards then. Holy yeah. <laughs> even yeah. even their designs, dude. They're so. I love how overdesigned the fusions are. I think. I think it might. There's a chance that it's less of oh they took from Yu-Gi-Oh and it's more of it both the things. Um took from reference the same thing yeah reference yeah. the same thing it's like uh like stands in jojo and personas and persona yeah it's the same idea there's no such yeah. thing as originality smile <laughs> dude i can't believe japan referenced thunderous when they were making that one god ride <laughs> ride in i think is his name oh my god ride, ride in this day baby i meant fucking ride <laughs> Shake my hand, Mercury. Shake my hand. Let's go. Shake, shake. You don't even have a penis. Speaking of speaking of riding this dick, um, wait. You know what else? You know what also has blue eyes? Stack attack. A lot of them, in fact. Yeah. You know, Raiden also has red eyes. Smile. I'm talking about Raiden from Metal Gear Rising. I've been obsessed with that shit recently. Standing You know who else can make the metal? You know who else can make the metal rise with magnet rise? We get a double this week, baby. Stack attack it. Let's go. The oh, metal God. rise sounds like an innuendo. I fell out of my chair for that one. Bro, <laughs> make, the, make the metal rise. Hell yeah, Standing dude. here. I realize. Okay. Um, <laughs> what was that? Uh, <laughs> you don't you don't know the Metal Gear song? No. <laughs> no? Oh, no, I thought it's just went it. like full scene on us for some reason. <laughs> Hold on, let me. It's his, let me it's, his, it's been here. Mercury's uh d d Discord bio for like a week, two weeks even, I think. Uh yeah, I do that. I definitely read those. <laughs> yep. But uh yep. yeah. <laughs> it's it's our time to uh to thank the Patreons. Yes! Ooh.
Um, very thank awesome you for subscribing people. to the Patreon. Very much appreciated. Uh, we got now let me let me let me give them off memory. Let me get them off memory. This is off tops, off the dome. Not even looking at the the Discord right now. All right, we got Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. I remember you from last week. Fuck yeah, Ryan. We got Plumber. Fuck yeah, Plumber. Big fan of Plumber. We got Professor Germs and Crazy Carlton. You two are a pair in my mind. The dynamic duo, the the Bash Brothers, the fucking <laughs> Bonnie and Clyde. You could pick who's which which one. You know, like I don't, yeah, work it go. out. I got all four of them. Let's go. <laughs> Off I mean, he got, he got all of them. Oh, but yeah, let's go. Different, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Thank you all for, for watching and yes. supporting us on the Patreon. Um, Thank you! Uh, I, I think it's quite apparent that uh, scheduling is hard when shit like what happened today happens. But yeah. uh, we'll, try to, we'll try to keep everything well and ahead. Um, yeah. Thank you all for sticking with us despite the complications and the sometimes missing a person and whatnot. True. Like, very, Very much, much appreciated. appreciated. We are the same person. Double, double, double appreciated for me because I'm fucking. I'm the one that's not usually here. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, hope you enjoyed this episode yes. of the Ratlon Podcast, and we'll catch you in the next one. Whoa! Whoa! Bye -bye. Bye -bye.